Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It has been a solid minute since I made a video. Um, I do apologize for that. Obviously, some of you know, do have a child coming into this world here soon, so we've been getting ready for that. Um, <clears throat> also been kind of under the weather as of recently. I think it's just because I've been so stressed out. And then finally, you know, had some time to relax, and my body said, you're getting sick today. Um, but purpose of today's video, it's going to be a nice upgrade to the truck. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be switching out the transmission pan for a 6.4 liter power stroke trans pan. Same 5R110, they just updated the pan from the 6.0 to the 6.4. It'll hold more fluid. They changed the uh, filter design. Still fits in the valve body of the 5R110 just fine. So that is what we have all down here. All of this is going to be installed. So let's get to opening these guys up and see what we got. Alrighty, so this is going to be everything we'll need, most likely. If not, that sucks. Okay, so that first box, here's the updated filter. I'll open it up and show you guys a better picture, but this is a, uh, a lower micron flowing filter, so that'll help keep it clean. This is the toilet paper roll filter, an OEM Motocraft filter for the transmission filter on the front of the truck. That is the updated transmission pan for the 5R110. And then in this box, I believe, since it is so light, that this is going to be our gasket. Ordered a lube locker gasket for the pan. These do fit the E4OD 5R110 um, and a couple other, I believe, because they're all the same pan style. All right, so if yours is equipped with a drain plug, it's usually just a 13 mil, and then uh, pull the plug out. We're gonna drain the fluid, and then we'll take the pan down. All right, so we're draining, we're draining out the pan, and we're almost done here. The fluid looks pretty okay. It's a touch dark, but it also does have, let's say, 30 to 35,000 miles on it. So we're letting that drain out, and then we'll pull off all of the bolts and then we'll pull the pan down pull the pan and we will install the new pan we'll get this guy cleaned out of any gunk or debris or anything so we'll just take some some brake clean clean out the insides and then uh, pull down the old one and put the new one up and we'll show the I'll show the differences between the 6.4 pan and the 6 liter pan. Okay, so if anybody has ever been wondering what the inside of a 5R110 transmission looks like, there is what it looks like. This is your filter, obviously, and this is going to be pulled out of the valve body, but here's all your solenoids right above the filter there's all your solenoids all in all the inside looks really clean looks really good no metal in the pan so I think we're in good shape okay so here is the old 6.0 pan and here is the new 6.4 pan exactly the same shape but this the 6.4 pan is just a touch deeper and it does have a wider filter cavity so it does hold more fluid like a quart or two more but here's the biggest reason to go to this this setup this is the 6 liter filter and this is the 6.4 filter this has way better filtering properties and a lower micron rating than the 6.0 one and you could just see the difference on these two here bigger inlet so you can increase your line pressure but also has a filter mesh bigger filter mesh than the inside and it has its own better flowing paper filter on the inside 
So that alone is going to create a good bit more line pressure to be able to have smoother shifts. If you want to do the full upgrade, you can do all the solenoids and everything. But I'm not. I'm opting for just this and a brand new toilet paper filter in the front. So I do have this lube locker gasket. We're going to go ahead and put this new filter. We're going to clean out this pan first. But we're going to put this new filter and that new filter in with a new pan. And it's going to be great. One other thing to note is when you take out the old transmission filter, there is going to be this orange, this little orange gasket. There's going to be this little orange gasket on the tip of the filter, still stuck in the filter housing of the trans in the valve body. So make sure you grab a pick and pull that out because if you don't, this is not going to seat and you're going to not have any filtration and you're going to burn up your trans. So let's go ahead, get this new filter installed, get the pan back on, and then we'll do the toilet paper roll up front. If I have one word of advice, it's because I just had to do it. When you take off the old pan and put on the new pan, make sure you transfer the magnet because I forgot and then I had to take the whole pan off after I torqued it and then had to take it all off again, put the new magnet in, and then retorque it back up. But underneath the passenger side of the front bumper, there's this. And this is your transmission inline filter, pretty much. It's your toilet paper filters, what everybody calls it. It is not supposed to look like that. That is black. So, I do not know when the last time this was changed because when I bought this truck it had new fluid and who had the truck before me was one of my buddies who bought it from a dealer and he never did the trans. So, I'm assuming that all they did was pull the drain plug and put new fluid in it and that's it, just to make it look good. But it is not supposed to look like that. It is supposed to look, obviously with new fluid, red, but clean like this. So, <clears throat> yeah, be uh, change your fluids, do your maintenance. Maybe that's why I've been having uh, some torque converter issues. And maybe it's too far gone and maybe this is just going to mess it up with this maintenance and I'm going to have to get new trains, but we'll see. That's kind of the fun of it, I guess, it's spending money. But, word of advice, be careful when taking this off. If you can avoid it, don't use that, um, because some people put this on way too tight. Take your time with this, because you do not want to crack the housing, nor do you want to break off the bottom of this and have to get a new one, because that sucks. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and throw him in the trash and put a new filter in there. So, let's go do that. We got the new toilet paper filter in, and per the manual, you fill it up through the dipstick tube, which I have pulled out, and a, fill and a uh, funnel in there. And fluid of choice is what, obviously, the manual recommends, it is the Mercon LV by Motocraft. Um, the old fluid that you were supposed to use is the Mercon SP but it is becoming harder to find and they did change all of their manuals from the dealership to use LV instead of SP so just ensure that you get the right stuff and follow the manual and I'm not really sure how many quarts it takes it's supposed to take about nine if you do a regular um, pan and filter or a regular filter change with the 6.0 pan. But since I have the 6.4 pan and the 6.4 filter, I do not know how much it's supposed to take now. So it could be 12, 13. I hope it's 12 because I bought 12 because originally it's supposed to be 9. So we'll see. We'll start with 9 and see where the dipstick reads. And if it's still not touching, then we'll go until it touches, start the truck, 
and check it while it's running because that's how you're supposed to check it because the torque converter is going to be pulling all that fluid. Alrighty, well, that project is done. I don't want to insult your guys' intelligence, so I didn't show you the um, refill and how to check the fluid level. I'm sure you guys know how to do it. Make sure it's on level ground, have it running, and then go into drive and reverse and then back into park between each court to make sure that you have the correct level so that all the servos are working. Um, I will say it does shift into gear a lot easier than it did before, but that's obviously you saw the filter and you saw the fluid that came out of it. It was pretty dark. Um, I think I was about 5,000 miles over my uh, 30,000 mile limit, but also I don't know the last time when it well last time it was changed was at the dealership before it was bought in my possession from my buddy and I don't know if they just drained and refilled or if they drained pulled the pan cleaned everything you know put a new filter and then put a new toilet paper filter but by the looks of that toilet paper filter they did not do that I guess we'll <laughs> we'll have to wait and see um, how it works I am gonna go take it on a drive it is coming along it's um, obviously it's a long project and I have a lot of other things to do as well I'm trying to keep up with videos the best I can the next thing on this truck is gonna be a pretty big one I do have some rust that I need to fix on the door and that leads me into the issue of do I keep the flames or not because there is a little bit of rust in the flames and I I do not have enough confidence in my abilities to make it look great so I'd have to do one single color on the flames here um, and just make it that that blue that it is so I'm gonna wrap it up right here I appreciate all you guys sticking around watching this video so thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one see ya